People are always asking me, why sandals? And to them I say, why not? I mean, they're not the most stylish things ever, but they're convenient, reasonably priced, and they even have pretty decent grip for when I have to walk my trash cans down my slippery driveway. Carpet day! And so it is with the PX65, Vizio's new flagship P-Series Quantum X TV for 2019. With a buttload of premium features for just $2,200, this might just be the premium 65-inch sandal of TVs. And I absolutely love it. Speaking of things I love, private internet access. That's exactly what you'll get with PIA, a safe and protected IP. And it's got loads of other features as well. Check it out at the link in the video description. Don't be deceived by the PX65's all plastic chassis, tacky industrial design, or bargain feeling buttons, because this puppy has all the features you'd expect in a flagship display from a Samsung or Sony, and then some. At a purported 3,000 nits, it doesn't just have the highest peak brightness of any display to reach our studio, it's actually one of the brightest, if not the brightest set on the market. Now, it's hard for us to actually measure this because companies often exaggerate these numbers and our testing equipment isn't sensitive beyond 1300 nits. But what I can tell you guys is that when it's cranked, it is really bright. Like to the point where most people are probably gonna leave it at the default 50%. Now the purpose of all of those lumens, of course, is HDR. And thankfully, the PX65 is certified for both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So you get nice bright peaks when you're looking into a light or a fire, but also dark and detailed blacks thanks to the PX65's full array local dimming across 384 zones, or actually 480 zones on the 75 inch model. In either case, the zones are just over five inches square or about this big. Now, that still looks pretty big, but thing is, in a side-by-side -side comparison with Samsung's top-of-the-line Q9F that first launched at $3,800 and an LG OLED, the PX65 obviously couldn't reach OLED levels of black, but it did achieve noticeably lower lows than the more expensive Samsung, and that's really saying a lot. Out of the box, we did find the active full array's default medium setting to be a little intense, leading to unpleasant halos around white objects on black backgrounds, but turning it down to low took the edge off quite nicely, albeit at the expense of some dynamic range. I'm glad we're at least given the option though. But HDR is about more than just light and dark. You also need a wide color gamut, and like last year, Vizio is again offering some of the most affordable quantum dot displays around. For the uninitiated, today's quantum dot displays use a thin film of particles to greatly increase color accuracy and reproduction. One thing to note about quantum dot, or any wide color gamut TV though, is that unlike a monitor, which can be used for both content consumption and for professional work or content creation, TVs are designed only for content consumption, and in particular have been designed to display content that meets broadcast standards. So while a color accurate monitor can display a wide color gamut all the time, regardless of whether you're using Photoshop or Firefox, a TV like this one will only kick into wide color gamut mode when it receives an HDR signal. Otherwise, it'll use the narrower Rec. 709 color space because there is no wide color gamut SDR content. Technical reasons for it aside, we really enjoyed our time with the PX65, and that wasn't just limited to passive entertainment. It happens to be a great TV for gaming as well, because it retains all the capabilities that earned its predecessor a spot on DisplayLag.com's Best Gaming TVs of 2018 list. Now, in the standard modes, the input lag is actually pretty bad, but you can cut it in half by switching on Game Low Latency, then, if you specifically use HDMI port number five, your signal will bypass all the unnecessary processing having your input lag yet again. Now that sounds wicked at first, but there are some drawbacks. While this port does handle 4K resolution or even 1080p at a native 120Hz refresh rate, it is not HDR compatible. So console gamers are gonna have to choose between minimizing their input lag and playing games in HDR poop. Also, if you have more than one console, 
well, you're kind of screwed again because only HDMI number five is low latency. Though if you're that into it, a separate HDMI switch is an option. So then should you switch to this TV? Well, it actually makes a pretty compelling argument with a calibrated mode out of the box, built-in Chromecast Ultra and AirPlay 2 support for 4K streaming from your phone, and a motion blur reducing clear action mode that doesn't impact the screen brightness as much as other TVs. I mean, the PX65 is a bona fide flagship LCD without an outrageous price tag. With that said, it is only a couple hundred dollars less than an entry-level OLED of the same size. So then, if straight up dark theater room movie enjoyment is your bag, I gotta give the nod to the OLED. But I also have to acknowledge that due to OLED's issues with image retention and overall longevity, if you're more into sports watching or gaming, this one is worth a serious look. Speaking of being worth a look, our sponsor, iFixit. iFixit's essential electronics toolkit is compact so you can go anywhere and fix almost anything, and it includes their most popular precision bits. It holds the tools in place with high density foam so you can throw it around without any of them falling out, and it's got a lifetime warranty. So head over to ifixit.com forward slash Linus and get yours today for just $19.99. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Gorgeous Brandon waterfall footage, not included. Also in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.